Roma Wines present Suspense. Roma Wines, made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. Salud. Your health, senor. Roma Wines toast the world. The wine for your table is Roma Wine, made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. This is the Man in Black, here for the Roma Wine Company of Fresno, California, to introduce this weekly half hour of Suspense. Tonight from Hollywood, Roma Wines bring you a stars and old friend of these proceedings, Mr. Peter Lorre, and a newcomer, Mr. Richard Conti. For their appearance tonight, Joe Eisinger has written an original suspense play with sporting blood in its veins and in which death has a ringside seat. Its title, with apologies to Mr. Steinbeck, is Of Maestro and Man. And so, with the performance of Peter Lorre as the maestro and of Richard Conti as the man, we again hope to keep you in suspense. Number is eight. Ada from Decatur. Get aboard, boys. Speculate so you can accumulate. Put down a handful, pick up a hatful. And he throws a five. The money is eight. Make the point and break the joint. Seven to one the hard way. The man wants two fours. He'll make it the hard way. He's got a hunch. She bets a bunch. Get aboard, boys. And the dice read. Days in the week. Seven and the man's down. Pass the dice and make some ice. Everybody plays and everybody wins. Lay it on the line, we pay it on the line. Three to two, a six or an eight, even money, ten or four, I lay it and take it. Right or wrong, I go along. A tough one to lose, Maestro. Oh, Mr. Cripp. Did I frighten you? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's just that I didn't... Maybe your nerves need looking over, Maestro. Well, I think I'd have jitters, too, if I dropped a bundle like you did tonight. What time is it? Three in the a.m., Maestro. Too late to play again. Oh, please, another hour, huh? I don't mean the time. I mean, I think I got enough of your paper for one night. Huh? My stick man just handed me these tabs, 15G. <laughs> you know that my IOUs are good, Mr. Crip. You know that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You ever see my private office, Maestro? Hmm? Right this way. Sit down, Maestro. Well, it's growing late, and I... It'll only take a minute. How's Ricky? Hmm? Oh, Ricky. <laughs> He's in the mountains. He has a vacation, a, a little rest. You know, it's a great little welter, that Ricky Martin. Punch like a heavy feet like a flyweight. Yeah, fine boy to have in your stable. I don't have what you call a stable, Mr. Cripp. <laughs> Ricky Martin is all I've got. Yeah. All my life I dreamed of having a boy like Ricky Martin. Not for the money, not for what he'd bring just to own him. Like a fast horse carrying your colors. He leaves them all behind. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be willing to trade you any three of my boys for Ricky Martin. Well, <laughs> that's very generous of you, Mr. Cripp, but uh, I, I don't no, think... I, I don't think you would. Well, you're a lucky man, Maestro, finding a boy like that. Yes, I am. I sometimes wonder how you did it. You haven't been in the fight game long in this town. I remember the first time I see you and your boy hanging around the garden. Yes, that's but... right. The, the fighting profession is still a little... A little strange to me. You see, all my life I've been a, well, an impresario, you might say. In Paris, in Brussels, Vienna, ballet, opera, plays. <laughs> and when I came to this country and found Ricky, I, well, I could see that he was a... Yeah, you could see, all right. Cigar? Thank you. There you are. I always say there's nothing like a good cigar to promote good feeling in a business talk. Business talk? What do you mean? A little matter of 32G. Oh. 17 you dropped last week and 15 tonight. <laughs> yes, my, my luck has been a little bit out. You know, that's a very impressive signature you got, Maestro. Like a professor or something. All <laughs> those curls and loops, very impressive. Looks like a million bucks on these tabs. I'm sure it's good for 32G. <laughs> of course it... Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, if, if that's all, Mr. Cripp, I... That's all, Maestro. Well, then, uh, good night, Mr. Cripp. Just a minute, my friend. You're leaving something behind. What? Your IOUs. Hmm. I don't understand. 
I figure I got enough of your paper. Hmm? I want my money now. But I can't. I, I, I then haven't... Then get it. I must have time. I run a cash business. But you gave me credit. You got assets. What? Ricky Martin. No. Then pay. No. I won't let you steal him from me. He's mine. Do you hear me? He's mine. I found him. I built him. And you can't steal him from me. I want that boy. No. I love him like a brother. Not you'll swindle him on every fight. I won't give him up. Then you'll pay my collector's 32 G. <laughs> but it's a gambling debt you can't collect. My collectors don't carry a summons. A barrel and 50 pounds of cement. All right, Mr. Cripp. Believe me, no arguments. And you've added greatly to my education. <laughs> I don't think there's much I can teach you, Maestro. Only this time I'm out in front. I'll show you I'm a generous man. Honest John Cripp. Hmm. Run an honest game and I make a square deal. 50 G for the boy. 32 in tabs, 18 in cash. No beefs later. Thank you. Hmm. I was sure you'd be sensible about this, Maestro. I had the contract drawn up. Just put that impressive signature on the dotted line. May I use your pen? Sure. Thank you. There you are, Mr. Cripp. Uh, Ricky Martin now belongs to me. Mm-hmm. Your pen writes very easily. You can keep it part of the deal. Thank you. I shall treasure it as the most expensive pen in the world. How soon will Ricky be back in town? Oh, uh, I expect him in my office tomorrow. Good. You'll tell him he now belongs to honest John Cripp. Yes, I'll tell him. You know, Mr. Cripp, I... I don't think Ricky Martin is going to like being owned by you. <laughs> you just leave that worry to me, Maestro. I have a way of making people like me. <laughs> Even if it kills them. <laughs> Tonight for Suspense, Roma Wines are bringing you the play called Of Maestro and Man. You have heard Peter Laurie in the prologue for this study in Suspense. And now for a moment, let's conjure up a scene of our own. Let's imagine ourselves in sun-drenched Havana. Let's imagine that we are dining in the gay Club Momart. As you listen to the music, you put down your wine glass to tell our host how much you enjoy his hospitality. Part of the credit belongs to Cuba, he smilingly acknowledges, but part of the credit belongs also to your country for producing this excellent wine which adds so much to our enjoyment. For this is Roma wine from California in your own USA. Now, it is a fact that connoisseurs of many other lands know the excellence of Roma wines made in famous wineries located in the heart of the choice wine districts of California. But millions of Americans also know these things and have made Roma by far America's largest selling wine. Here at home, Roma wines are truly inexpensive. No duty, no overseas shipping costs to pay. And for only pennies a glass, your meals, your entertaining can have the added delight of superb Roma wines. You will find them of truly excellent flavor and character. Fine products of age-old winemaking skill perfected by modern quality controls and tests. Ask for R-O-M-A, Roma Wines, made in California, for enjoyment throughout the world. And now it is with pleasure that we bring back to our soundstage Peter Lorre as the maestro and Richard Conti as Ricky Martin in Of Maestro and Man, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. See, Ricky hasn't come yet. Huh? Oh, oh no, boss. Uh, I've been sitting here in your office like you told me, but he ain't come and he ain't called. I don't understand it. I can't. And his train arrived two hours ago. And... Hello. Hello, Maestro. Sam. Ricky. <laughs> Where have you... Oh. Maestro, this is Lynn Carter. How do you do? How do you do, Miss Carter? And this is Sam Lynn. He was my trainer. Hello. Ricky has told me so much about you during the past two weeks that I feel like... <laughs> yeah, you know how it is, Maestro. 
Out on the lake at night, the guy gets the rambling and... I found it all very colorful. Ricky, uh, there's something I must tell you if, if Miss Carter will excuse us for it. But there's something I must tell you, Maestro. Hmm? It, it's about Lynn and me. Uh, you see, we... What is it, Ricky? Well, Lynn and me, we're, we're gonna be married. Mary? What? Yeah, we... We just, well... When I met Lynn, I... I don't know how to tell you this, Maestro. You know how I feel about you. Ricky. But... Ricky, what are you trying to say? It's... Tell me. It's just that I... Ricky is trying to tell you, Maestro, that he's quitting the ring. Ricky's quitting the ring? Ricky quitting? I must, Maestro. I'm going away with Lynn to South America. Her father owns a... He wants us to live down there, I'm... I'm going to work for him. But, Ricky... <laughs> Ricky, you can't. Not now. I, I I'm just... I'm sorry, Maestro, but don't make it tougher for me. You know I always wanted to quit, always uh -huh. hated it. Now I have a good reason. We're taking the plane to Rio tonight. But you can't, Ricky. You, you can't run out on me like this. I don't figure I'm running out on anybody. But you don't know what's happened, Ricky. You, you can't quit. I, I sold you. What? To Crip. To Crip? To that... Why didn't you ask me first? I, I couldn't, Ricky. I, I had Buying to. and selling me so much beef on the hoof at so much a pound. But, but you know... Buy me and sell me until I can't take any more punishment and there's no buyer. Ricky. That's why I'm getting out. Lynn was right. Two, three years in the crib stable, I'm a punching bag to the new boys. A gibbering idiot like poor Sam here. Who, who's your... Uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, Sam. I just... Don't call me. I'll, I'll kill you. you, you Shut you, up, you. Sam. So Lynn was right, huh? I knew it was her fault. I knew it the minute she walked in here, smelling of her perfume, all and... Right. Yes, it's all your fault. Why didn't you leave him alone? Maestro. He's different from you. He's not your... Cut it. No, no. You like the way he looked in the sun, in trunks, huh? These muscles and that beautiful body. That's enough. You, you just had to have him. You had to bring him back to show Maestro. to your friends, huh? Great catch, you, you scheming, conniving, you... five cent... Ricky, <laughs> hey, no! <laughs> Stop him, you'll kill him. Ricky! Ricky, you're, you're Ricky. Ricky! Ricky, he's choking! Oh. All right. I'm all right now. Oh, Ricky. Ricky. I should have killed him for that. Come on, let's get out of here. Boys, you all right, boys? Well, he, he'll like to kill you, then. Hey, your face is a funny color. Come, Sam. Help me to the car, Sam. Yeah. Sure, boy. Sure. Hey. Are you all right now, boys? Yes, sir. I'm all right now, Sam. You're a good boy, Sam. <laughs> sure. So Sam's a good boy. Sam, Sam's no rat, but Ricky's a rat. Huh, huh boss? Ricky's a rat. Sam, we... We must do something. Sam. Oh, sure, boss. That Ricky is a rat. He, he called me an a idiot. I'll, I'll kill him, boss. Sam's a good boy. Yeah. He, he don't like for, for Ricky to do the boss no hate. I'll, no. I'll kill him. No, I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll, no, 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 uh, Sam. Shh, please, you must not get excited, Sam. Huh? We must think. Uh, sure, boys. Uh, uh, let, let's think. Uh, your lip is, is, is all a bleed, boys. Yes, you are a good boy. He called you an idiot, yes, but you are a good boy, uh, Sam. I like when you pat me on the head like that, boys. Uh, we have a problem, Sam. Uh, Mr. Cripp must not hear about Ricky quitting. Ricky quitting, boys? Uh, Something happened to Ricky. An accident. They happen every day, Sam. Oh, sure. Accidents happen. Well, when I was I a little boy, a crip and say, it's a tragic thing, Mr. Crip. Fine boy like that. You a boy, Mr. Crip. You a fifty thousand dollar boy, Mr. Crip. It's a tragic thing, huh? Yes. Tragic finale to a promising career. Oh, yeah, boss. That would be some tragic, some. Some finale, it huh? It must be an accident, huh? Sam. Mr. Crip must never be able to say. Do you understand that, Sam? Oh, sure, but when I was a little Sam, boy, I... Sam? Yeah, boys? Sam, in Langton's gym. You know where the main steam valve for the steam room is? What, boys? The valve, Sam. 
The one that lets the life steam into the steam room. The, the, oh, oh, sure, but the, the, the gadget that the guy turns off and on the steam way, huh? That's right, Oh, Sam. sure, but uh, it's under the stairs in the basement oh, on the other side of the gym. That's right. you, you know, on the side where, where yes, the pipes... Yes, Sam, are... yes. Do you think you could get under the stairs into the basement? Oh, sure. Nobody cares if I go to the basement. Sometimes I go, go there... Yes, with... Sam. And do you think you could open the valve as wide as it'll go? Open the... For all the steam to go fast into the steam room? Yes, Sam. Oh, boy, that's some hot, all that steam, boy. <laughs> yeah, hey, you can't stay in there all that hot. <laughs> Did you was up the gym when, when poor Sharky got all the hot because the, the valve broke and the door was stuck? The Jew was there when they brung him out, huh? Boy, that was some looking dead sharky, all right, all yes, right. Yes, Sam, a very uh, tragic accident. Uh, uh, some tragic, all right, boy. Sam, come here. Take my watch. Can you read the time? Well, sure. What do you think? I'm a dumb... Oh. The, the little hand is on a two, uh -huh. and the big hand is on a six. That's right. And that means, uh, uh half past two, no? That's half right, half Sam. Uh -huh. Now, look. When a little hand will be on a five, you uh, see, no? and a big hand on a twelve, here, uh, it'll be... At f five o'clock. That's I... right. Yeah, you see, I'm no dumb. Five o'clock. And at five o'clock, Sam, you must be in the basement at Langton's gym by the steam valve. And exactly five o'clock, Sam, you'll open the valve. All the way. Uh, for all the hot? Yes, Sam. All the hot. Oh, but you can't stay in... The Joe was up the gym when shot. I won't be in the steam room, Sam. But Ricky will. Alone. Shoreham Hotel. Ricky, Martin's apartment, please. One moment, please. Hello? Ricky? Hello, Ricky. This what do you is... want? <laughs> Ricky, uh, please, I, I, I don't know how to begin, but you've, you've got... I, I've got to see you. There is so much I want to say to I'm you. I'm sorry, Maestro. Look, I... Ricky, please, just for a few minutes, please, Ricky. Look, look meet me at Langton's gymnasium, huh? Uh, look, you have, all, you have all your old boxing things well, there I, well, in the I... locker room. I, I want you to give them to me. I, I want to keep them, Ricky, as a, as a souvenir. Well, okay, Maestro, just for a few minutes, though. I have to meet Lynn at the airport at six. Oh, thank you, Ricky. Forget it. Meet you at Langton's in a half an hour. Fine. Goodbye, Ricky. You'll come. Ricky? Uh, and you'll get him in the steam room? Yes, Sam. Mm. Yes. I'll get him into the steam room. And I'll sit there with him and talk to him. And talk to him about this and about that. With a steam thick around us, hiding us from each other. When I begin to feel the live heat, Sam, at five o'clock, Sam, at five o'clock, I'll be talking about old times as I quietly slip out of the room, and he'll be sitting there alone, thinking of old times, not knowing I'm gone and that he's alone, until it is too late. He will hear the sudden rush of steam and feel the scalding heat. And he'll run to the door, but it will not open. And he'll pound and scream in agony, but the door will stick. And his scream will draw burning steam into his lungs. And then they'll find him. But it'll be too late. Too late. It will be too late. <laughs> Hello, Ricky. Hello. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. See, I was just going to take my steam bath. I had to wait until Lynn called me. I oh, yeah. told her to meet us at the airport at oh, 6. Oh, good, good, good. Come, Ricky, let's go to the locker room, huh? Uh, <laughs> look, here is your old locker, Ricky. You have the key? Yes. Here, you open it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but first, Ricky, please, I, I, I want to tell you how I feel, how I've been so miserable because... You should have killed me, Ricky. Maestro. Yes, Ricky, you... I, I, I deserved it, but... You see, I wasn't myself. You know that. Let's forget it, Maestro. Go ahead, open the locker. All right, thank you. See? Look. 
your punching bag. Look, your trunks, your gloves. And here, look here, Ricky, this pair. This pair you wore the night you beat Kit for him. Wasn't that a fight, Ricky? How can we ever forget the third round? Remember what the newspaper said? Every word is burned into my memory. Last night, a new star of the ring was born. Ricky Martin. Sensational new welcome. Cut it, Maestro. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, Ricky. I, I know how you feel. Ricky. Ricky, are you sure? Isn't there one chance that you'll change your mind? No, Maestro. Not a prayer. What time is it? Well, it's only about quarter to five. Come on, Ricky, don't you... Don't you want to have your last team with the old maestro? Mm -hmm. Well, I... Don't come. Well, okay, but remember, old maestro, five mm. o'clock's my deadline. <laughs> oh, well, Ricky, that I guarantee you. Say, who's around at this time of the day? Huh? Oh, yo. Huh? Sam, I, I wanted to tell you how sorry I am. Oh, about... sure, so I'm sorry, all right. Call me a... Put on the boss a slug. Come on, get me. <laughs> oh, boy. You're going to be some hot sorry, all right. Sam, stop mumbling. Get going. Some hot, tragic finale, all right. Get going. Oh, that poor guy. You see, Maestro, that's why I'm getting out now. I don't want to look like that in five years. Here's your towel, Ricky. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. How much time we got? Oh, it's just a couple of minutes before five. It's time for a quick steam and a shower, and, and then we meet Lynn, huh? Okay. Ah, good old steam room. They really got that steam up today. Yeah. It's so thick you can't see your hand in front of you. Yeah, but it's good for you. <laughs> Come on here, feel your way over here, Ricky. Come sit here with me on a second chair. Here. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Just keep your head down and your eyes closed and relax like me. Yes. Ooh, this feels fine. Yes. You'll begin to feel even better later. Tell me, Ricky, tell me how you met Lynn. Well, she was staying at the same hotel with her mother and father. He came up on business. A right guy, Maestro. You'd like him. Yes, sir. I'm sure I would. Mm, one night I just found myself dancing with her. I don't know yet how it happened. But there we were. And after that... Well, it seemed like there was nobody else in the world but we two. I don't know, Maestro, but... But suddenly I realized that what I wanted most in the world was right there. Something I... I can't remember having. Something I wanted all the time and with all my heart. I'm tired of hotel rooms and training camps and fight talk and no one and nothing to come home to. I love Lynn. I love her family. They love me. That's all there is, Maestro. I guess that's the crop for any man. Hey, it's it's getting kind of hot, Maestro. <laughs> remember, Ricky, <laughs> remember the day we first met? Maestro, uh, the steam is getting a little too much. <laughs> remember, it was, uh, it was backstage at the Met. <laughs> he wanted to be a ballet dancer. <laughs> Maestro. I must laugh when I think of those days. You had muscle and you had grace and you had power, but <laughs> you didn't know what to do with them. And I, I showed you. Not ballot. Years of sacrifice. <coughs> For what? I found you and I, I found the ring and I, I brought the two of you together. And one year, you were near the top. Yes, it was a long year, Ricky, but... But we went through it together. <coughs> yes, I... I can't help feeling that your leaving is... is almost a tragic finale to a... a brilliant ring career. Uh, a what? Yes, a... tragic finale. And then... <coughs> and we got your first fight in New York. <coughs> How nervous you were. Your New York debut... <laughs> Not that to met to the music of, of Offenbach's Gaité, Parisienne, no. <laughs> but at the Madison Square Garden, to the roar of 15,000 throats. And do you remember the, the last thing you said to me before you went into the ring? <laughs> remember? 
Ricky. Ricky, where are you? Ricky, where... Where are you, Ricky? <coughs> Ricky! 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 Don't leave me here, Ricky! Ricky, come back! Please come back, Ricky! Open the door! Ricky! Don't, don't leave me! Ricky! 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 My, my life! Flight 17, Clipper to Rio, ready. Flight 17, ready. Mr. Gluskin, Miss Thompson, Captain J. Stevens, Mr. and Mrs. Ricky Martin. Flight 17, board, please. Ricky! Ricky's here, hurry. Hello, darling. Sorry I'm late. Well, come on, we've only got... Where's the maestro? The maestro? I left him in the steam room at the gym. Slipped out on him. I, I couldn't take it. Poor guy's all broken up. He feels like it's... Well, what, what he'd call a tragic finale. Mr. and He'll Mrs. Get over Ricky it. Martin, board flight 17, please. Come on, darling, let's go. So closes of Maestro and Man, starring Peter Laurie with Richard Conte. Night's tale of suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by William Spear. It's my job, it's my privilege, to tell you how much pleasure and enjoyment you can add to everyday living by serving Roma wines with meals when entertaining or anytime. And in hot weather, let me suggest Roma wine cooler offers. Just put ice cubes in a tall glass, half fill it with your favorite Roma wine, then fill it up with sparkling water. For a sweeter drink, add sugar. Ah, that, my people, is really something. And it's so simple, so good, and so inexpensive. It's a fact. The cost of Roma wines is only pennies a glassful. Get Roma wines today. Enjoy them regularly. If your dealer is temporarily out, please try again soon. Just be sure you ask for R-O-M-A, Roma Wines, America's largest selling wines, made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. Richard Conte appeared through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox, producers of the Technicolor production, Wilson. Next Monday, same time, you will hear two distinguished leading ladies, Miss Maureen O'Sullivan and Dame May Whitty. As stars of Suspense. Presented by Roma Wines. R-O-M-A. Made in California for enjoyment throughout the world. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. You've been listening to the OTR Gold Network. Find more classic radio at otrgold.com. <laughs>